So we're here in Rishikesh, which is such a beautiful, holy town. There's so much devotion, there are so many practices. Um, and my experience of those practices uh, when I was here prior to Balanced View um, were um, that I, I needed to change myself, I needed to purify myself um, in order to recognize something um, that was really worth seeking. I didn't really, I didn't know what it was, but I was, I was prepared to go through these practices just to anything to, to get away from the conventional struggle in life. Now the conventional struggle in life, we all know, which is to m modify what we consider to be negative and cultivate and hold on to what we consider to be positive. And there are ma many, many neutral things that we don't really care about. Now everyone in this room, I'm sure, has exhaustively tested this approach to life trying to modify and eradicate negativity and to try and cultivate and, and hold on to positive states or positive... Um, well, in Balanced View, we, we use the term data. And the word data is just a collective term in which we, we include anything that can be experienced by a human being. Thoughts, emotions, circumstances, people, places and things. Anything that can be experienced we just call data, it makes it very simple. Now in the balanced view training, like you heard Candice in the talk, you could say that the instructions are um, explicit instructions on how to do nothing. Um, because you've probably heard many teachers and read many books that say, leave things as they are, everything is perfect, all is one. Uh, but you don't really have uh, anyone telling you how to do that. So it's very frustrating, and this certainly was my experience. I, I've got no idea how to leave things as they are. I put my clothes on this morning. Does that mean that I'm not leaving things as they are? Would it, might, maybe the talk would be more potent if I was here, sat here naked. <laughs> I, I think I'd be speaking to an empty room myself. <laughs> but you see... When, when we can only rely on conventional intelligence, we, we, uh, the, we only really have three, three responses. We're, we're like a sorting machine. It's either good or, uh, good or bad, black or white. So when, when we're given an instruction, like leave everything as it is, or um, you, know, you are perfect, everything is, is one, all of these things, then the only, the only tool we have to understand that is our, is our inter intellect and, and uh, you probably noticed it's really annoying when somebody says to you you are perfect or at least it was for me because my experience was I'm definitely not perfect I have so many things about me that I consider to be flawed so how dare you say that and that, that was basically my response to, to teachers in the end because I'd spent 20 years being told I was perfect and having no experience of that. So like I said, the difference in this training is you're given a very simple set of tools that you can test in your own experience and see what happens. So the first and really only instruction, the only practice of this training is to recognize open intelligence for short moments, repeated many times until it becomes continuous. So what is open intelligence? Now, I'm sure many of you here have been involved in, in lots and lots of practices. So, it, when I came to, the, uh, to this training, it, it, uh, we used to use the word awareness, then it was clarity. Now it's open, open intelligence or opening intelligence. And I really like that. So the basis of our experience, what makes you, you, this is what we call open intelligence. And an easy way to identify that in your experience right now is just to stop thinking. So right now, just stop thinking or stop describing. And especially if you're new, you may have lots of thoughts of, well, you know, what's this, what, the, what does this guy look like? You know, what's he talking about? You know, all of these things. So with, with, these, with these descriptions that are going on, with that, with that very profound instruction, you can stop with the train of thought and in your experience, what do you notice? 
when you stop thinking or stop describing. So again, just do it, do it now. And obviously, the, 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 it's only a split second. The stopping thinking only happens for a split second, but in that split second, what do you identify? There's an openness and alertness. Stop thinking. And you see, that it's, it's very clear. So in, the, in, the, in, the tr in this training, we call this open intelligence. So you already have it. And the practice of the Balanced View training is to emphasize open intelligence rather than the descriptions whenever we remember. So like some of your fantastic questions, you, you address that. You've, you've been focusing on descriptions and intellectual analysis for your entire life that as, as the, really the only way to sort out anything in your life. So in this training, we turn everything on its head. Just the, the intellect can just be left as, as it is. You take a short moment and you relax as open intelligence. So if, if you're new, just for today and the next few days, you can actually take that instruction of stopping thinking or stopping describing as, as something you can practice just to identify open intelligence in your experience. And what you'll find very quickly is the next thought that arises, arises in, of, as and through open intelligence. So just like the sky and the colour blue are, in, are inseparable, open intelligence and our data, open intelligence and our thoughts, emotions and sensations are inseparable. Now, I was involved in many, many non-dual non trainings and teachings for, for, for two decades before I came to Balanced View. And not once did I see or even use elementary discernment as to what I was doing. Because if everything truly is, is, is an indivisible expanse, that means everything is evidence of that indivisible expanse. So that means things like anger, jealousy, sexual desire, physical pain, sickness. These are evidence of and indivisible from the, the unified expanse. And my, all of the practices I was involved in were to try and get rid of these things in order to recognize whatever it was I didn't know I was looking for. Can you see that that, that makes no sense? If everything is truly unified, then everything is truly unified. You don't have to do anything. So just to return to what I said in the beginning, so, so the instructions of balanced view are, are, are really there to, to allow you to gain confidence in and, and, and have the experiential recognition that whatever is occurring for you, whether it's positive, neutral or negative, is totally fine. The, the, that nothing can either help or harm you in any way whatsoever. So the first, the first instruction, like we said, is short moments of open intelligence, repeated many times, and they become continuous. So you can take that away today with you. Even if you don't come back, just test it for yourself, and I think you will come back. So fortunately, it's not just that instruction. In Balanced View, we offer a really comprehensive support structure that's at, that is only aimed at empowering you to bring about this recognition in your experience. It's not a philosophy that you need to understand. It's something that you need to test and see what happens in your experience. So the second of the support structures of Balanced View, and collectively these are called the four mainstays, there's four supports. The second is the training. So in Balanced View, if you go to the website, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of hours of talks, videos, books, and, and um, written trainings and teachings that you're, you can download. And all these do, or you could call them the poetry of open intelligence. They elicit the experience of what's being described here. So just listening to talks, watching videos, reading texts, participating in trainings. And we have a, we're here for a month and we have many trainings offered. All of these are, are geared to empower you to recognize your true potential. And it's, um, so that's the second one. The third one is the trainer. You, there are many Balanced View trainers. 
Um, and again, we're here just to support you in, in, in really empowering your own true self-perfect nature. And the fourth is the community. So by now we have hundreds of thousands of people all over the world who are just testing the instructions in their own experience. So that's from the heart. I, I, I really implore you to test what's being offered here and see what happens. Because th this is all we do as trainers, we share our experience of relying on this simple support structure. Now, it's just common sense, if everything is a unified expanse, everything, it, life is, must be simple. You can't get more simple than one thing. <laughs> you know, you just cannot get more simple than that. So the problem we have as human beings is that we complicate things. Um, we've trained ourselves in negativity. Like you said in your question, 30 years of negativity. And through no fault of our own, you might not consider yourself to be negative, but just look at your life and, 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 and what, you've, what you've focused on and what, what people around you focus on. We call it uh, constructive criticism in the West. So what doesn't work? How can things be improved? What don't I like about myself? What needs to change so that I will like myself? So this was my approach. A complete self-hatred, really. I hated myself. I couldn't, I couldn't find uh, really anything positive about myself. Now when I came to this training, just by allowing all of this negativity to be as it is, by relying on short moments, all of my negativity empowered me to recognize open intelligence. Now that's the, the lack of being a victim. I feel depressed. I can either indulge in, in, in the thought of depression or I can stop and relax and acknowledge open intelligence. And right there is the link between something that's very, very negative to something that is totally sublime and all-inclusive. And what happens is by relying on the short moments, what you'll, what you'll start to find very, very quickly is everything you don't like about yourself reminds you to recognize this basis of your experience. And if you continue to rely on the support structures of balanced view, then you'll find something wonderful and you'll recognize what you've always been looking for. <laughs> that your negative states and the, the bliss and love of open intelligence are completely one and the same thing. It's crazy. <laughs> See, I mean, look at me. You know, I've got no right to, to, to be happy and uh, really, I, I still think I look like a, well, I'm not going to say I've, I'm going to behave because I'm being filmed, but I'd, look, I'd rather look like somebody else basically and uh, that's not going to happen. So um, I'm stuck with, <laughs> and so, um, you know, I can either get really depressed about that or I can, I can bring my focus back to open intelligence. And that's what I've did. And wh what's happened is my life hasn't changed in any way whatsoever. I still have the same thoughts, the same emotions. In fact, conventionally it's getting worse because I'm getting older, so I have much more pain. It, um, yeah, I won't bore you with the details, but yeah, there's quite a lot going on. Um, and yet yeah, all of this is com has been completely outshone by just total uh, wonderfulness. Now, I know that sounds just like a nut, you know, like that doesn't make any sense and you probably want me to explain myself, but I'm not going to. <laughs> because it's down to you, it's down to you to test what's being offered here, then you will know in your experience. So you can think what you like about what I'm saying, you know, it might, it might, it might clash against what you, your opinions and belief systems, but again you see, if that's coming up for you, then you have an opportunity right there to, to allow that to be as it is and to relax and acknowledge open intelligence. It's the most amazing thing. So really, I, we're here for a month. We're only here to support you in eliciting what's being described here in your own experience. Like we saw in the beginning, you already have open intelligence. That is what you're looking for. You know, never mind all these lofty descriptions of bliss and oneness. You, what you are looking for is open intelligence. It's the basis of your experience. It pervades everything without exception. So the, the only thing you need to do is to recognize that for yourself. So give it a go and then come back and you'll be given 
as much support as you need to gain stability and confidence in what's being described here.